Meet Miss Thomas. She's been a teacher at FCPS since she graduated from college 15 years ago. She enjoys the region's diversity and the district's reputation for innovation and collaboration. From project-based learning to the portrait of a graduate, she feels truly inspired when she comes to work every day. Sam's one of her students, and his parents were happy when they learned he would be in her class. Great teachers like Ms. Thomas and other FCPS staff are funded through an annual operating budget. In fact, nearly 90% of the FCPS operating budget goes to employee compensation, and 93% of FCPS employees are based in our schools. Most FCPS funding comes from a budget transfer from the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. A small portion of FCPS funding comes from the federal government and other sources. Only 23% of FCPS funding comes from the state. The county provides about 72% of the FCPS operating budget, mainly through real estate property taxes. This funding is not based per pupil. It is determined annually by the Board of Supervisors. Over the past few years, the county has increased school funding, but it hasn't kept up with basic needs. Transfers haven't covered the total cost of just four major expenses. Enrollment growth, employee salaries, retirement system increases, and the rising cost of health care. So while budgets have gone up, FCPS still must cut back in many areas to balance the budget. It's the same for Sam's family. Sam's father got a small raise last year. At the same time, his health care costs went up and Sam also became a big brother. That means daycare costs as well. So while his family is making more money, they still have to reduce other expenses to balance their budget. Miss Thomas received a salary increase last year too, thanks to additional funding from county taxpayers, but FCPS teacher salaries still lag greatly behind other regional school districts. Miss Thomas's salary is about $5,000 below the market average. FCPS has cut nearly half a billion dollars and more than 2,000 positions since fiscal year 2008. Many are critical support positions such as custodial, human resources, and information technology. After a decade of decline, the number one priority in FCPS is to reinvest in teachers, the foundation of great education. Teachers need to be compensated competitively, or they may consider other school districts that pay closer to the market average. FCPS is committed to excellence and preparing students to succeed, while being strong stewards of taxpayers' money. This continued excellence is only possible through sustained investments in teachers like Ms. Thomas and the support she needs to engage and inspire students to help them thrive in school and life. Your voice with elected officials at every level, your community involvement, and your continued support for your schools makes that investment possible. For more, visit fcps.edu.